this is how to properly jump text to a different page and properly create column text so as you see I already have some text on the page and I'm just gonna play with the sizes of this text box assuming we were doing a half page article I just move it to a half page anytime you have an overflow of text in a box you'll get this red box out to the uh, right hand side in the lower right corner so just say I want this text to be on this half page and I want to jump the rest of it to another page basically what I'll do is I got page 10 11 here I'll just go to my page I want it to jump to and I'll click on the red arrow one time red little box and then I click over here on my page and then click on that page <coughs> and the text now has jumped from page 1 to page 11 now uh, we're going to make a uh, column text so now just say I don't want this to be one big block of text I want to make it columns click on the box and hit control B or command B and you get your text frame options you can check preview if it's not checked and you just play with the number of columns here so I created three columns and I'll press OK <coughs> and I'll go to my jump now make my jump two columns so I'll go to control command B and if you forget the commands all you have to do is go to object text frame options and it'll bring it up again at the top object text frame options <coughs> next I'm gonna apply a picture to this page so I just place a picture on the page now we're going to properly put a uh, photograph on the page so I placed this photograph on this page so just assume this is an author or a photo you want to put in the middle of a column so the problem right now is it is on top of our text in the instance that you have uh, text on top of your photo all you have to do is uh, click on it and go to object arrange bring to front but, so if I send that back I send it to back so you see the photo is behind the text so if I want to bring it to front I click on my photo and I go to object arrange bring to front now it's on top of it but <coughs> with the photo right now the text is not running around it or anything so we want to interact this photo with the text so that the text runs around it and that we don't have to do it ourselves we want the layout to configure itself to the photo so I have a uh, options here called text wrap and if you don't see it on your your screen you want to go to <coughs> windows at the top windows and then you want to go to text wrap so now what I want to do I want uh, the text to wrap around this photo so I click on the photo and I got all these different options here I'm gonna click on this second option and as soon as I did that you would have noticed that the text now moves around the photo uh, so what I want to do now is get create some space around the photo and the text because right now there's no f uh, space between the text and the photo it runs right up on it so right here in these options I want to make sure that this link is selected because as long as this link is selected it'll make sure all these uh, from on the left right top and bottom it'll make sure it creates an equal amount of space around that photo so I'll just click up here once click up here again click up here one more time and you notice right here on the photo you see that the text is backed up off of the photo and these blue lines are just guidelines I can turn them off and on but that just uh, shows me just the uh, gutters between the columns and the space around the photo so now when I move this photo around it, the text moves around it wherever it goes so that could be an author caption, an author photo or it could be in the middle of a story 
and I can just play with the size of it however I want to do it <clears throat> and now uh, with the photo placed here the photos the text still flows to another page just as we want it and when we move the photo around make it bigger or smaller it still flows over here <clears throat> now one other thing that's key under view show text threads now when you show text threads you see now when I click on the text box it shows me a line that flows all the way to uh, the page where the text is linked from so when you're doing text and you forget what page you jumped uh, the, the text to you can just click on the text box make sure you have view uh, show text threads on and when you click on it you'll see a line and that line will show you exactly where the text ends voila and also since it's linked all I have to do is put my cursor right here in this text box and if I hit up on my up arrow a couple times it's gonna jump from page 11 all the way to page 1 and so I can so if I add text to it it just flows all the way through to the jump 